Hello, welcome to another Adventure Craft episode. In today's video, we will be doing five different street lamps that you can do in Minecraft. So, let's take a look at them. So, this is going to be the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and fifth one. These are attempting to be more of the modern style rather than old timey, I guess you could say. So, let's start with this one. So, for this street lamp, these are the materials that you will need. So if you're building in survival, go ahead and collect these items. But if you are building in creative, just like I am in this video, go ahead and take into consideration these are the items that you will need for building this street lamp. So I already placed a polished andesite uh, stone block right where I will be making the street lamps. So on top of this one, I add one, two. And on top of that, I add one, two, three, four, five of these stone brick walls. So it should look like this. So on the top wall, you want to take it out by one, two, and three. So it should look something like this L shape. Now underneath this block right here, we are going to place one so once you have placed your stone brick, underneath that you are just going to add the redstone lamp. So for this street light that is completely done, let me know what you think of this one in the comments down below. So let's get started on the second one. These are the items that you will need for the second street lamp. So taking your cobblestone wall, you are going to raise on top of this block or just whatever block you want. You're going to raise it up to be five high. One, two, three, four, five. Now on the top wall, you want to take it out by one. And on top of this cobblestone wall right here, you are going to add a full stone block. Now on top of the stone block, you want to add one slab and then go out one slab from that slab and then take away that slab. Now I'm going to go out one stone block like so. And underneath this stone block right here, I'm going to add a white stained glass. And there you have it. The second street lamp. These are the items that you will need for the third street lamp. So starting from this block right here, I'm going to take my andesite wall and I'm going to raise it by five. One, two, three, four, five. Now taking my stone slab, I'm just going to place one right on top of the one, uh, the right on top of the andesite wall on the very top. Now I'm going to add one full block for right now to add this slab right here. And then I'm just going to replace that slab so that way it goes up. Now going up from here, you want to go two blocks like this and then take away that bottom block and then bring it out one more. So it should look like this shape. Now taking your smooth quartz slab, you're going to place the slab right underneath the last block that we have placed. So it should look like this. These are the items that you will need for the fourth street lamp. Now you are going to take your gray stained glass pane and you're going to raise it six high. One, two, three, four, five. Right, one, two, three, four, five, okay, and then six. Now on the top glass pane, I'm just going to go out by one with this sea lantern. And on top of the glass pane, I'm going to add one full block of stone. Now taking the stone slabs, I'm just going to put one stone slab right here, 
one here, one here, and one right there. So this is the finished street lamp. These are the items that you will need for the fifth and final street lamp. So you're going to go to a block and raise the iron bars to be six blocks high. So one, two, three, four, five, six. On the very top iron bar, you are going to place a smooth stone slab. And then you're going to add another one just so that way you can carry it on up. So you're going to have to place another slab there. Now, from this slab right here, you're going to take it out one. And then on top of that one, you're going to add another one and take away the bottom one. And just go out one more. So it should look like this. Now take your yellow stained glass and put it right underneath that bottom, right underneath that uh, last slab that we have placed. So this is what each street lamp should be looking like. Let me know what your favorite is down in the comments below. I'm probably going to have all of my street lamps look like this one. I just like how it looks personally. So I will have all of my street lamps look like this. So if you see in future videos that I have all of my street lamps looking like this, that is completely why. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below if you did and what you want to see next. Be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications so that way you know when we post, which is once a week every Friday. And be sure to like the video and share it if you liked it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.